Good morning, Elvis. We are the Good Governance Conference Week kicks off this morning. Take us through the program for the next two days. Well, I'm battling a bit to hear you, but um, a short while ago, the public protector, uh, Tuli Madonzela, gave her opening remarks. She touched on the um, issues, re really, that are going to be discussed here today and uh, tomorrow, and essentially breaking it down to the most basic of levels, where she was talking about reminding everyone who is here that the whole point, really, of gathering them here is to make sure that every single South African um, uh, is is being given the dignity and the respect that they deserve and all resources state resources should be marshaled to ensure that that in fact happens she was talking about uh, how uh, the need to free every person every South Africans potential to make sure that the state takes care as much as possible of what they should be taking care of and of course the individuals and broader society uh, gets to take care of the rest. She spoke also about uh, making sure that every person has a decent life, saying um, the key to, in fact, the reason um, government is responsible for basic service delivery is to make sure that every person, uh, get, every human being in South Africa gets to have that decent life. Well, lots and lots uh, of people are attending, or of course, um, it's a very high-powered, if you like, conference. Um, uh, government is represented here by at least three ministers, Minister Tsenodi, who is responsible for local government, uh, also, Minister Chabane, who is responsible for uh, monitoring and valuation in the presidency, but also Minister Trevor Manuel, who is responsible for the National Development Plan, among other things, who is also in the presidency. Lots of academics and uh, prominent uh, South Africans who are playing leading roles in civil society, among them uh, uh, priests, uh, but also academics from various academic institutions are also here, uh, but also in parliament people who are holding key positions that ensure or that speak to accountability. People like uh, Mr. Ben Turok, who is the chairperson of that committee that looks after members' ethics, is also going to be addressing this conference. And so will Mr. Temba Godi, who is the chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee. So all the people who are holding really key and influential positions uh, around accountability are going to be here. And the whole point or aim, really, is to bring them together to get them to speak to each other, one, uh, to make sure that they are all on the same page about what needs to be done by these institutions and organizations. But on the other hand, to make sure that they, are, um, they keep uh, track of trends. In other words, where there are new developments, whether in terms of legislation or also where uh, perhaps um, the state, in one way or the other, may be dropping the ball, how to nip those challenges in the bud. So they are all here, and over the next couple of days, they will be talking to one another, sharing those ideas, uh, all of them, of course, around the theme that says um, unpacking the link between good governance and poverty eradication. Now, the, pub the public protector, Tuli Madonsela, and the integrity sector uh, bodies, uh, what do they hope to really achieve at the end of this conference, uh, Vuyo? Well, from the conversations I had with the public protector yesterday, she was saying that um, every once, once in a while, at least um, once a year, um, the, since 2010, she, they have been putting together this kind of gathering just to make sure that they keep tabs on the developments. Um, they were, as I said earlier, they drop the ball. They are able to uh, make sure that they quickly regroup and try to help one another to actually deal with what they believe is actually an enormous challenge facing the country around good governance, but also around such issues as corruption and maladministration. So they, 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 they saw the need from 20, they started this process back in 2010, where they saw the need to come together every once in a while, as I said, at least once a year, to sort of have these conversations going at the highest level possible because some of the things, if you take time to regroup or to come together, uh, some of the things sort of fall through the cracks. And by the time you are even able to begin to do something about it, it may well be too late. The bus may have left the station. So really, they're saying... 
everyone, like at least once a year, let's get together and talk about the problems, follow the legislation that may be tabled before Parliament and where we foresee challenges, we deal with those immediately so that mm -hmm. nothing falls through the cracks, mm -hmm. but also so that all of us know what each other is doing so that we can help one another where there is a need or an opportunity arises. Contributing editor from the SABC at uh, the uh, CSIR and of course giving us an update there on the uh, conference taking place a good governance week uh, by the public protector and the uh, uh, integrity sector bodies. We'll cross to view a little bit later.